What's going on everybody? So if you're like me, when you got started out with either gaming or just recording any type of content, you wanted to have the best products available for the money that you had at the time. What I have behind me is the Fifine Ampligame SC3 audio interface. This audio interface is perfect for gaming, podcasting, if you're doing video or music recording, anything along those lines, this is the perfect product for a very budget-friendly price. The Fifine Ampligame SC3 is a feature-packed audio interface that combines versatility, functionality, and a touch of style. Let's dive right in and explore its amazing features. All right, so first what I'm gonna talk about is your mic inputs that you have off to the right side of this. You have an XLR microphone hookup, but not only that, it does have a quarter inch input if you would like to run a quarter inch dynamic microphone that you have laying around. You have a switch that can change it from dynamic to condenser. Also, if you have a headset with a microphone, you can plug the audio jack in right here and you can receive the audio that you're recording and also broadcast through your microphone. Your line in is gonna be if you wanna run your game audio through this interface. Your headphone port would be if you have an XLR microphone and you wanna hear what you're broadcasting through your microphone, uh, you could connect your headset through this. And last, we have a line out. If you have something along the lines as a capture card that you wanna record your audio and everything that's running through the interface, that would allow you to do that. On the far left here, we have the power that is just a simple USB type C. And as you can see, the audio interface comes with a cable that has a type C cable with an adapter connected to it. So as you can see, this thing is not gonna take up a lot of space on your desk. It's just slightly bigger than my hand. It's honestly about the size of a, a standard stream deck. So if you are streaming, this thing will not take up a lot of real estate on your desktop. It is very durable, very well built. I do like the construction of it. I like the rubber pads on the bottom. So if you are using it on your desk and you want to adjust your microphone volumes, it's not going to be sliding around and, and moving all over the place. The buttons feel really good. Honestly, this thing feels like a very quality product for $50. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to set this thing up and show you how easy this thing is and how it's not complicated at all to get started with this unit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it with a Shure SM7B and also one of Five Finds microphones itself that is XLR and USB capable. So you can see how that actually interacts with this interface itself. Moving on to the control, the SC3 features intuitive knobs and buttons for easy adjustment of your audio settings. With a dedicated gain control, volume sliders, and input-output options, you have complete control over your audio levels, ensuring a professional quality sound. This unit does not have LEDs along the sides that show your volume gain, but if you look at the top, you have two knobs on the left and two on the right. These levels are shown at the top. These are for your microphone, and then these are for your headphones. So this will actually show you what your level is, and if you adjust it, it will show you what the setting is currently set to. Down at the bottom, you can see that you do have three mute switches and one is a mic monitoring switch. So if you want to hear that real time audio in your headset, when you click that button, it will automatically send that signal through your headset so you can monitor how loud your audio gain is so you can adjust that on the fly. On the right side of the audio interface, you have an RGB button that will cycle through different patterns, different colors, and if you hold it, it will turn it off. If you don't want the RGB lit up, but it adds for a nice touch and looks really great. As you can see, it also has a voice changer button that has six different modes from male, female, and robot to monster, baby, and elder that will allow you to change through. We'll test these out later on in the video. To cycle through, you just hit the button. You'll notice whenever it turns white, it is activated. And in order to turn this off, you just hold it for approximately three seconds. It turns off and resets. So on the left side of the interface, you do have a 48 volt option. Be sure to check to see if your microphone requires 48 volts before turning this on, just to make sure you don't do any damage. Next, we have an electric sound. This is gonna be in different tones, but this will give you a reverb sound if you're simply just wanting to change just that by itself. Same thing, press the button. It will light up white to show you that it's engaged. Hold it for that three seconds to turn it off. 
And last but not least, we do have four custom input buttons. These are great if you're wanting to record something simple like a, a thank you message or something that you want to record for 10 seconds. Uh, all you have to do is hold down the button for three seconds. It'll start once it turns white, it is now recording. And then once you release, it will automatically save that. And once you press it, it will flash showing you that it is playing. It will play that audio back so your viewers can hear what you recorded. Now, one thing about this interface is it does not have software, but there are plenty of programs out there that you can use to allow yourself to either set a noise gate or a noise suppression, like Streamlabs if you're recording videos or streaming, that I highly recommend you use with this product. When I say this thing is very easy to set up and use, as soon as you plug it in, your computer detects it, it takes it as a default mic input, so you don't have to go through your sound settings and find where it's at, where it's located. All you have to do is just go down and make sure that it is selected with the speaker icon and you'll be good to go. All right, so currently what I'm using is the Fifine SC3 audio interface with an XLR microphone, and this is my SM7B uh, Shure microphone. So as you can see, it does have very clear audio output. All right, so currently we have all the audio running through the SC3. Uh, through Streamlabs, it is projecting as my desktop audio and as my mic audio. So I can hear everything uh, through the mic monitoring and I can hear uh, all my gameplay. Everything is, is run similar to uh, GoXLR or something along those lines. So I'm not trying to engage in a lot right now. Just wanted to run. Uh, a game so you could see that it does work as a pass-through for your microphone audio and as your game audio if you wanted to run it that way. All right, so now as you can tell, I've got this Audio Technica AT2020 microphone set up. It does need the 48 volts that this audio interface allows you to use. Um, and honestly, you can get this mic for about 60, maybe $70. It's a very good option if you're looking for a budget microphone and audio interface setup for $50 for the, the audio interface and 50, 60, $70 for a good microphone. Um, you really can't go wrong. This really increases the production value. It gives it a very professional sound. And honestly, like I said, it's just something that I would highly recommend for anybody that's on a budget and that is trying to get into streaming and looking for professional grade audio equipment. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how the USB microphone, don't mind the, the cabling, I've got it set up to where I can monitor um, out of the mic itself. And honestly, this thing has said very good capabilities with the audio interface everything is broadcasting through still the same that it would be if it were uh, hooked up to an xlr microphone but for that 50 dollars, like i said this little interface does everything you need it to all right so what i'm going to do next is i'm actually going to test out some of the added features like um, the electric sound that adds kind of a reverb and almost like an auto tune um, and it has different uh, tones for it. And then we're gonna check out the voice change, and then I will also demonstrate how the custom switches work that you can record little sound clips and add to either a stream or if you have a certain thing that you wanna add to a video, uh, podcast, or anything along those lines. So uh, let's check this out. So first we're gonna do the electric, which is gonna give a kind of an auto-tune reverb uh, feel to it. Hello. So as you can tell, this almost gives, if, if I were singing, I would have kind of that, that robotic electric feel to, to my voice. Now, like I mentioned before, you will hold that button down and then it will reset your mic settings. So now we're back to just our normal voice, normal mic. And now we're gonna check out the voice changer. So the first one's gonna be male. This is gonna give a very deep tone. Um, it doesn't allow any adjustability. It's just a preset uh, filter. The female is just a very high pitch. So I have a very deep voice, so it doesn't necessarily have a female sound. But if your voice is not as deep as mine, it may have a little bit of a different effect. This is going to be a robot, so you can tell a lot of reverb. 
This is going to be an extra to extra. It's just very, very deep. And I said there's not a lot of adjustability. This is going to be baby. This is going to be the fifth option in your voice changer. And last but not least, this is just elder. So it kind of has the deep voice of the male voice changer. But uh, I guess a little bit clearer. So those are your six options for your voice changer. Same thing if you want to reset that, hold it down for three seconds. seconds and you're back. Now, let's say I wanted to, in my stream, create a follow uh, thank you button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my custom, uh, any of the four of my custom switches. Hold it down for three seconds. You'll see it turn white. That'll let you know that it's recording. Thank you for subscribing. Now, if somebody subscribes to my channel, anything along those lines, all I have to do is push that button again. Thank you for subscribing. And you can use your voice changer. You can, if you're listening to an audio clip, you can record that on your desktop and use that in place of uh, maybe a voice sound bite or anything along those lines. So whether you've been streaming for a while or you're just now getting into it and you're looking for something to add to increase the production value of whatever content you're creating, definitely check this product out. The Five Fine Amplagame SC3 is definitely something that I would recommend for a budget-friendly option if you're looking to really just give yourself that versatility and functionality in your audio control. And it's just honestly, with the amount of features that it has, you cannot go wrong with this product. If you have any questions about this product, feel free to reach out in the comments. I will have a link in the description below so you can check this product out for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe. I truly appreciate you being here, checking out this product, and I will catch you next time.